Hello, I am Muhammad Junaid Anjum and today I am teaching you JET6. JET basically a software uh, which is required for the X-ray analysis. For example, you perform XRD on any sample which is maybe powder or solid. So you will have this type of spectrum out of the machine. So you don't know which peak is representing what thing. For this purpose, we mostly use uh, this software which is called JETSYNC to analyze different things. Uh, for example, uh, Miller indices and the phases present and different uh, other analyses like crystal structures and what are the spacing between the different layers. For example, I have this data and I want to analyze it. Uh, before going into the detail, let me explain a few things. Uh, you need PDF cards for this to analyze your data uh, and you need to set up your PDF cards like this. Uh, for I have already attached my PDF to the software and if you did not attach it to the software, you need to attach your PDF your database to the software uh, so that you can uh, extract the data from your database. Uh, if you don't have the JIT database or PDF, uh, you need to download it from the internet source if available or you need to buy it. It's up to you. I have database of uh, year 2004 and it is a little bit outdated but for the demonstration purpose it is okay. But if you have very sophisticated work and you have a lot of things to do with the JIT, you may buy it from the website which is available on their website or maybe if you are from any institution you can ask from your institution to buy it for yourself so you can do your research on JIT. Let me start for example I have this data I acquired from the XRD machine so I want to see what this data is representing so there are many things first of all we use this button which is search match and if I click it will uh, ask you to remove the background and other really things so I can scan adjust the data by itself so after the matching you can see it is saying that no match found in this search so most of the time this problem is arise because of outdated database or maybe it is not finding the required elements so if this is happen, you can put your PDF number here and you can find in the literature. For example, your work is not new. Uh, you can read literature of similar uh, structure. And if the paper is giving you a PDF number, you can put that PDF number here. Uh, for example, uh, this PDF number. So it will show the PD, uh, the, you can see the small green lines are appearing here. So these green lines are basically showing that uh, your structure, uh, if your structure is this, so your peak should be appearing here. But this is not my structure. So I can find my structure by different, uh, for example, I put this thing and I click on this so it is showing that uh, this PDF so first pick, pick should be appear here second should be here and the other picks are here and you can compare that if it is representing your data or not there may be few deviation from your data and the PDF file and you can see in the literature whether this uh, dissimilarity is in the acceptance range or not if it is not in the acceptance range you can not say that uh, this PD, pdf number is for your data so you need to confirm and assure from the literature 
your data is uh, very suitable to this PDF number. For example, I am saying that uh, for the in instance, I am saying that this is my data and now I want to index uh, my data. When I double click on this, the window like this will pop up and you can see there are 24 lines here. For example, if I click on first line, it is showing this line like you see, uh, the red thing is blinking on it. So this index is showing like you can see the true theta value is 5 and indices of uh, this peak is 003. And if I go to the next, for example, you can see that. So this peak is at this theta value. Basically, it is true theta value. And the corresponding plane is 006. So you can find that uh, where your peaks are locating. So uh, you can index it in any other software like Origin. You can draw your uh, spec from there and you can name your peaks with reference to these peaks numbers according to these two data values. Uh, I hope this would be helpful for you to finding the peaks for your SRD data and I think for very very basic purpose if you are not primarily working on the uh, XRD and you are from the other field and you just need to index your data so this much information is sufficient for you you can just have this search match option and see if there is no search found and then you can put your reference pdf number here and you can find the peaks value for example if you are from the main field like stylography and your main work is related to finding structures and different type of things related to crystals uh, you need to go through the uh, manual available on internet maybe it is available on internet so you, you should go through that manual to see the further uh, functions of the software and uh, analyze your data however if you are from the other field and this is not your primary field and you just need to index your data this much uh, information is enough for you i think this video is very helpful to you Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe my channel and like this video for the appreciation.